So air cuts optimization increases feed rates when the toolpath is not in contact with the material. So this is a little bit of a workflow of how Veracut and optimization fit into the manufacturing. You're starting off with your CAD model, fixture design, material tools and machine, working your NC program, and eventually you finish your program, verify it through Veracut, then you want to optimize it. So AirCut's only optimization, as you can see in this image, has a lot of cuts not in the part, and that's where AirCut optimization comes in. So we're going to reduce the cuts that are in air only. We can also reduce the cuts that partially intersect the part. There are air cuts in the beginning, but they intersect the material. So we can, we can take those cuts and break them up, which gives you a, a more optimized uh, air cuts. In this air cuts uh, only mode, we create a, another program with the dot opti extension. So all the motions inside there, um, and there's a header inside there also, so you know the difference between your original program and your optimized program. AirCuts only doesn't require an OptiPath license like it has in the past, so it is part of Veracut 8.0. So increasing the air cuts, it outputs that new program completed with a dot opti extension. It allows us to then compare the two files so you can see what the difference is inside. There's no getting your original program mixed up because it actually changes the extension and, of course, the header information inside. The original program still exists for your comparison. So this is your optimized control window that allows us to choose air cuts only that there are only a few things in this menu that might need to be configured. It's, it's very simple. So the air cuts optimization process allows us to cut the part. The optimization is turned on. It tells us in our Veracut logger. And then when it's all done, it brings up a menu that shows us what our savings is. This is our savings calculator. At the top, it shows you the original time, the optimized time, and the percent of savings. At the bottom, you can configure for a run of parts type calculation. So when you turn on air cuts, you've got uh, two different options inside here. I can just run all of the air cuts as they are without breaking up anything. And when I say break up, that means if I have a cut going from outside the part from point A to point B and point B intersects the part, then I can, without breaking that up, that whole cut becomes not an air cut. But if I break that up and stop prior to entering the part, I can then speed up the first portion of that cut and I'll put uh, just several different cuts with different feed rates. There we are again with that savings calculator showing you the important information. There's also a compare utility that allows us to look at the two different files, the original file compared to the optimized file. You can scroll through this, one being in red, one being in blue, easily seeing the differences between the two files. And actually, this could be used to compare any two files, not specifically Veracut files. So how about a quick demo for air cuts only? Let me switch over so you can see that. Here you guys can see what I'm showing you. Looks like you've got it. So this is a standard Veracut uh, project. I'll just go ahead and cut it real quick just so you can see what's going to happen. So it cuts apart very quickly. So if I want to optimize this for air cuts, I can come up and use my optimize control option. I can turn on air cuts only, OptiPath mode. First, I'm not going to break up any partial cuts, so you can see the difference between cutting these two parts or cutting these parts in two different ways. So I accept that. Watch my part cut and my savings calculator comes up showing me the original time, optimized time, and a percent savings, 6.45%. So I can close that. It gives me the option at that point to go ahead and swap out my optimized program for the original, which I don't care to do right now. I'll reset this, and we'll 
will optimize the control this time, turning on air cuts and choosing to break up the partial, uh, break up partial air cuts. My logger shows me that OptiPath or turned on or optimization is turned on. Go ahead and cut my part again this time. You can see at this point the let that catch up. That the percent savings is larger than it was before. It was 6.45. Now it's up over 9%. That's the difference you get when you break up partial air cuts. That way it, it speeds up close to the part, uses an entry uh, distance, comes into the part, so you get the best of uh, the best optimization you can get.